Well, hello, it's me. There's nowhere. Oh, I forgot what that song was, but it's okay, guys. So I just want to welcome you in this special video where I go with you over one of the good campaigns that I have. I had. Um, it's old. 1560 something so if you have never seen um, a thousand campaign thousand plus campaign so here we go welcome to the club welcome to the view um, I chose this one because this campaign is like really special because I had a limited time and I had like to push it so hard unlike others which I like like to do easy busy um, like cook it, cook them slowly while th this one I didn't have have the chance because I started at November 12th and it was um, a Christmas campaign the ugly sweater and it was like ending it it should have ended at um, December. December 30th, uh, no, November 30th because I had a flight and I had to go to the United States so I had like to push everything to get the best of that campaign and I kept pushing and pushing and pushing so I will show you some lovely sh uh, stuff here so pay uh, close attention because the things that you're gonna listen here and see here you've never heard them before a lot of secrets are gonna be uh, told here and you will be surprised to figure out why this is um, how could this could be um, a 1000 plus campaign because uh, I will show you some budget stuff and things you will like be oh god this is so doable and this is not hard actually for the first time you will see that a thousand campaign isn't that hard if you work as uh, you will see here so let's work guys and let's start um, digging out so first of all you are asking how is how does a thousand campaign behave in the first days right okay so let me show you and let me tell you first of all let me refresh the page this is like the first thing you need to do if somebody is cheating on you if or if you want somebody to coach you because most of them are cheaters and they see they show you some wrong statistics so just ask them to refresh the page so you know that everything is cool Woohoo! um and um first of all First of all, um, let's see here. So, November 13th, I launched this campaign. November 12th. Okie dokie. Um, November 13th, which was the first day, because I launched this at night. Um, November 13th, I only got one conversion. I remember this actually. And the second day, November 14th, I got four conversions. So, I didn't get 1,000 conversions in the first day. No, I got one and five, maybe six until the next day. Because, you know, here it shows 744. And it's not 744, it's 1,560 something. So, uh, keep this in mind because Facebook isn't uh, the best... Uh, the best thing like to to that this is why I tell you to track the campaigns and the conversions through your uh, platform that you use in okie dokie so here you can see that it is like a huge difference I got 150 time oh 744 it's almost um, the half of what I got um, even more so 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 let me start and let me elaborate what was my first outlets and how I was how I was behaving so guys 
pay close attention. What the hell is doing? Is going on here? Well, let me refresh again. <laughs> it wasn't part of the plan, but okay, sometimes SH happens. Um, so, I started with this campaign. This is um, an audience intersect or a flex as I told you before. It has a lot of layers here because it was one of the big uh, niches. Um, so, this one started with. Um, yeah, with uh, audience intersect as usual because I love the layer and like the flex all the things that you told uh, you learn until now and another campaign another ad set with uh, these are like the two that started with November 12th and November 12th if you ask me what ages I did this for I did them from 18 to 48 this was my age so as I told you the first two days I just observe because then I want to know more about my um, about my niche about my audience and this is like part of the plan so I left them to cook and to see what's going on there and finally after the second day let's see one two three no two want to I got six conversions I think I got eight sales then I said okay looks like it's a good campaign so what shall I do next and this is where I start planning and planning and planning so the next day um, no not the next day two days later I came here and said okay let me go and create a new one for you know uh, United Kingdom for Britain and do it for the winning ages in it the winning ages what 18 to 24 and this is exactly the same campaign as that one see USA YA1 okay and here UK YA1 18 to 24 so it's as I told you this is exactly the same but only for that age that was converting on this one and as you can see guys this turned out to be one of the best assets not the best but one of the good assets I say so um, if you're asking about the budget here the total budget is 1922 shekels if you want to know how much is shekel you go to calculator and you divide by 3.9 something but for the ETH we will divide by 4 so it's $4,755 the total spent on all these campaigns and what it what that the campaign broke me 1560 something times 13 let's say let's not go to the extreme but it was a 15 or even more because it was um ugly sweater it was a sweater and the profit is so high but let's go to the 13 it brought me 20 20 280 and this is like a huge ROI so I put in five thousand dollars and it broke me 20 to 80 that's great right so how did I do this well this is what you'll figure out now so stay with me there's a twist here there's a twist that um, you will see so let me tell you the twist shall I well look at here see the budget the budget is 25 this is one of the like the campaigns that broke me 35 conversions and this he uh, this kept like hitting and bring bring me sales all the time I've never raised or upped the budget see guys oh this is the secret this is like one of the things that you would never do and this is why I told you uh, would you have ever imagined that 1000 campaign plus the ones that you see there in the market um, would stay like this in the budget 
No, I believe that you don't. You didn't. I I believe that you thought a thousand the thousands campaigns were like um, every asset used to spend one one hundred two hundred three hundred. I don't know what, but no. As you can see here, no. <laughs> it's the regular things, and I will show you how I do stuff and how I, how I do scaling. But um, let's start by. Budget is not the, the, the everything for a campaign, and I had even a campaign with five thousand or six thousand um, sales. Six thousand? It's it's hard to say six six <laughs> six thousand. Okay, six thousand campaign with the same thing, guys. With the same budget, with the same initial budget. I never touched the budget, to be honest. Um, okie dokie, so let's see the next, what did I do? So we said here, I did this one and it was one of the good uh, assets, then one day later, I created this beautiful asset here, and this is like, I, th I think that this is the second best asset no it's the third best asset we see um, the best asset later on and you'll be surprised actually to see what was the next the second best asset so as you can see here again there is a USA intersect so I'm using intersect again and intersect again is the flex the layers using the layers I heard a lot of rumors saying that layers uh, makes it like I don't know what hires the CPM uh, I don't know this is all rumors most of my campaigns or if not 80 or 90 percent of them um, are like built on those like I always start with an audience intersect or um, a flex t t uh, targeting but then in the scaling as we can see here as we will see here I tend to use more stuff like I tend to go with broad into in interests, but when I start, and especially if it's a big niche, I will start with a, an audience uh, or a flex retarget uh, targeting. So let's continue, and let's see what's going on here. So um, here, oh, so what we got here, we reached this one and then on the same day that I created this holy bully one what did I do what did I do you tell me so this is what I do I come here I came here and duplicated it I didn't duplicate this one the best one that was running for me once but I did it one two three and four you will see why so you will see that only one worked and one, two, no. Actually, this one also worked. The per conversion here is, um, it broke me more. It broke me like 12 conversions. So it was like $7 conversion. It was bringing me $7 or even $6 while my profit was 13 or 15 even. So it was pretty good. Um, so I duplicated once, twice, Tries, fries. I don't know if I can say it, but it's okay. Um, the this one time, this is the second uh, duplicate or the third. Du uh, yeah, the second duplicate worked brilliantly. It broke me twenty-seven. I believe that it was forty even or even more. So forty conversions or forty-five conversions from a one duplicate. This is what I did. I didn't create a new campaign or new outset I mean with a different targeting I only duplicated this one and to to be able like to get the best of the duplicating do it more, uh, at least four times three four times three I don't know if three is good I always do it four times so the same thing and I duplicated it once one two three four if you ask what's going on with the budget here I told you I tend like to if I want to raise I would raise uh, by one dollar that's it one dollar 
So I start here. The daily budget here is 25 again. If we if we calculate and do 25, I'm sorry, it's not in dollars. I know it's a bit in uh, sh not good. But. So I start here at six dollars, um, at almost six dollars here. So the 33 here you can see is a seven dollars maybe. So I only raised by one dollar and that's it. Um, so here I duplicated those ones and then I try to do a new offset with a new uh, targeting without any uh, layers just one and as you can see it didn't work and there is a fifth time here we didn't see it before it's okay this is all on November 15th so what did I do also on November 15th I did an 18 to 30 the ages um, and I used a lookalike of um, of this one. It didn't work. It was an old lookalike. Um, actually, there was a lookalikes in this campaign. I will show you what which one are those. But I edited all the names because I had the names with the niche on them. So um, I'm not sure which one was the oh. I was dumb. I I like edited the the names of the lookalikes too. Um, it's okay. You will see how I, I did this, but this is like more important stuff. So you can see that on November fifteenth, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten assets. If you can see here, guys, all the campaign has a one sixty assets. This is how you reach. Um, high sales this is like how you score thousands uh, ten thousands whatever you need to always work on your campaign and add more assets more assets more assets if you sit down and you don't do anything and you expect the campaign like to explode and bring you a lot of sales this is not gonna happen so you have to like to work hard on your campaign and to do the best of that so 15th November 15th I came up with two good assets to be honest or three let's say and the, the rest were bad so I killed them one day later or one day and a half so I gave them a, a bit of chance then I um, killed them I didn't like them because I was uh, like looking for the best ones and didn't have time to feed and like I don't know what to play with other ones so there comes November 16th 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 it's also a whole thing to say <laughs> so November 16th what did you do Yusuf I came here and I bro bro oh so I did one so I saw that there was some potential in the 18th to 34th uh, age range. So I decided to create a new asset for those guys. And this was the same asset that I used before for 18 to 24. Um, so I did it and I wasn't wrong about this. It brought me some beautiful conversions, 24, and I, th I think that it brought me much more. And the, the code perfect conversion was perfect. I duplicated this once, twice, and thrice and thrice. You ask me why you duplicated it from the, the, the beginning? I will tell you why, because I didn't have time again. <laughs> I just wanted to like push everything and to get the best of this campaign before I was gonna travel, like leave home. Um, and from day zero, there is a friend in, um, w w in the group. I told him, hey, brother, watch this. This campaign is going to reach 1,000 sales by 10 days. And this is what happened. You can ask him. He's called Daniel. You know him. <laughs> so, and um, so next this was November 16th so November 17th um, I didn't like leave those running a lot because turned out to be not good so I killed them as you can see here I think this is like the th second day so it brought me a sale so I gave them um, some time but the coast was high so I I 
kill them in, in the end. Now let's go scroll down and see what's as you can see every day I do some assets, some new assets and I work on them to try to get more sales. This is exactly how you do it. Um, November 17th turned out to be the best day for me and why? You will see why. I created this campaign, this asset, it didn't work so good. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. So voila! What do we have here guys, if you would tell me? We've got the thing that I told you to do. The Scandinavian countries. So it is uh, Netherlands, Sweden and the rest. And look at that, look at that. They, they brought me the best uh, conversions. They brought me... Um, 44 conversions and if you ask me why I played with this I think this is the only asset that I played with because again I didn't have time and I said okay I'm gonna up the budget no matter what but this hurt me when I up the budget I remember that I stopped to get uh, uh, the best uh, sales so um, I, I think this is the only asset that I played with Regardless, regardless, this is one of the things that I was talking about before. You remember this? Um, if I didn't add the thing, the Scandinavians, I wouldn't like, I would have lost more than 200 or 300 sales, I think. Because a lot of sales came from the skinny names. We will see afterwards from the breakdown. I will show you how. Um, okay, so. Then on the November 17th, I created one more asset which was like pretty good. And this was 18 to 24 broader mail. Ah, okay, so. Let's say what I did here is let's say that the layer it had the original one, the YA1 that we saw before that was converting the best, had eight layers. Eight, la eight layers, let's say 200k audience. So I took like three layers of those and I ended up getting 500k uh, layers, uh, audience. So this is what it broader means. I took um, out some layers and this turned out to be a good decision because as you can see here it's one of the best assets I've got again here what did I do I added um, France and Germany in one asset I wasn't lying when I told you how to do this so here's a Germany and France asset from 18 to 40 because I don't I don't remember why I did them for the 18 to 40 but Actually, the old ages were converting, but 18 to 24 was converting uh, so good, but it, it doesn't say that 18 to 40, it do, it, it, it's not worth the try when you got some sales. You need to like to try and see if it's uh, converting, no, because we will see um, afterwards the ages and everything, so well, let's continue. So um, here, I got some beautiful conversions for that one and um as you can see like in uh, france and germany the C cpm is like much less so you show your ad to more people and you pay less <laughs> um and my lovelies here poland italy and spain as i told you combined in one ad set and i did like great job on november 17th i had the best things so uh the best decision was is adding the scandinavians uh denmark uh de is uh germany germany and france and poland italy and spain which got me the best and this is like the lowest conversion uh the lowest cost per conversion then i did something more things for UK, 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 and oh, 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 this is the best one. What did I do? I will tell you what I do. What I did is, see, it's like 62 conversions, and I bet you that this one got me 100 something conversions, even more. 
what did this mean um i will tell you this was uk 18 to 24 and it was like the broadest interest alone it wasn't any um layers wasn't any layers wasn't anything but it was like the broadest interest alone and as you can see here uh when the pixel starts to get warm and know your audience well it will like get crazy and even if you put the broadest interest here the broadest interest was a 5 million or 6 million audience and for 18 to 24 it was maybe 2 or 3 million so I wasn't scared because I know that pixel was a worm by this time it was even hot and it would like find audience automatically um, so what next what next what next i started like by that time my audience was ready and i started to creating lookalikes so a lot of those would be lookalikes and lookalikes uh brought me some beautiful conversions here and this is a thing that you have to do a lookalike you can never miss a lookalike. You need always to start doing uh, to do the lookalike and to try every kind of uh, uh, possibility. As you can see, you guys, I kept creating new campaigns and new campaigns and new campaigns and new campaigns every single day or every two days. Here, I got good assets, bad assets, but it doesn't matter. So here again. Uh, when I saw that Italy was converting very good, I went and I created a new ad set only for Italy here and brought me the best conversions. Even I think this was the lowest conversion ever. So I did for Italy alone. I started with Italy, Spain and Poland. But when I saw that Italy was bringing me sales, I said, OK, I need like to get uh, Italy out of that uh, thing. And this is so important, guys. Pay um, a lot of attention to what I'm saying now. Um, I decided to take Italy out of the equation there and to, to separate it and do it alone. And um, so I, so did I do with uh, more places like more countries. So here I in, um, added Canada to the festival and Canada brought me some beautiful sales. Um, what did I miss here? Did I miss something? So here I started to uh, try right hand side to um get some stuff like try some stuff i tried to do a lot of things and i can't remember now what i what i did but oh here again i tried to get um italy separated again alone and sweden i separated it alone because i got a lot of conversions from sweden from that combined uh, countries at it but this is where you have like to get it out when you start getting conversions. Say, hello Italy, you getting me some conversions. You don't have to like to stay with other countries. You can come alone and woohoo, come on. Um, again, the uh, Germany was converting well. So again, I did the, the, the same thing and oh, Germany got me the, the cheapest conversion, but not the most, but uh, compared to Italy, yeah, it is the cheapest. Um, here I did a game for I think those are the lookalikes yeah those are the lookalikes because I can see that I've edited here the names so you wouldn't recognize so I told you here that Canada brought me some sales where did I find Canada before um, I don't know if this is the one that I showed you okay so here's Canada Can Canada and here I duplicate it. You can see that USA intersects. I don't know which one of was that, but this that campaign was converting very well. And I decided to duplicate it. And as you can see that I duplicated it once, twice, tries, and fries. This is actually cool if we can use this in English. So the fries one converted the best. Why the tries, let's look at the tries. The tries converted not that well. And the the first wasn't a good at all. And the second one didn't get us any conversions. So we were left with the fries, which was the best. This is why I tell you duplicate more than once. 
Because if you duplicate it once and it doesn't work, you will say, oh, duplication didn't work, but actually it does. <laughs> As you can see here, that all the budget stays the same. Okay. And what did I do next? Ooh, another German conversion. And um, if you ask me, what um, was this campaign? It was a WC campaign. Um, a WC clickable campaign, which means 1200 by 628. It's not a page post. Uh, one next. So here, I've got one more goodie for um, UK and for Germany. Look at Germany. Look at Germany. So Germany was getting me some beautiful sales. And here, what did I do? I'll tell you. I did the same on November 27th. I came here and said, okay, stay with each other, guys, if you love each other. Germany and France, just get married and get me more sales. And what did I do? Again, the same, the broader one. I took some layers off or out, I don't know. And it brought me look at the conversions 20. But you know that, so not 20, it's much more. And um, here you can see that um, this one, the again, a, uh, a Netherlands, Sweden, and all the Scandinavians was an approved one, and it brought me some good sales. I kept trying and trying and trying and when um, here I think in one stage when the things got down what I did is I changed the campaign like no I changed the creative like I changed the photo or something and I was like okay there is a new photo and here you go come and buy and this is why those work better because at some point everybody will see your ad and they'll be frustrated um, especially when it's a little niche I didn't experience this uh, much with this niche because it is like a huge niche and um, again what did I do I was fighting until November 30th when it was like I think that it was the end of the fiesta fiesta besta and again us characters small um here i added all the characters in one ad set and it brought me some good sales if you ask him what character is i think it was um a thing that you have characters and it could be a video game it could be a movie it could be a tv show you need to um, guess, and if you guess and no, I won't give you anything. <laughs> okay, so if you're asking where is the retargeting, so retargeting was in a separate campaign, and that campaign spent um, like $1,000, so add 1000 to that one. I won't show you that one because I need to go back, but it was a regular retargeting with all the promotion stuff, the things that I said before, I told you in the previous chapter. So it wasn't like a really uh, important thing to show you here. But look at those guys, look at the budget here, look at how many answers I've done, look at how it's possible to do this. And um, this is like how you need to scale. Um, again, let me see, and I was here separating again the countries, all the countries again, telling them hello you are performing well come let me just get you alone and see what's what you're gonna do so I was trying and trying and trying until my leaving uh, date came and I had to abandon this campaign and leave um, sadly but it brought me some beautiful um, money don't you agree uh, so here you can see that I duplicated 
duplicate, 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 and duplicate really works. You saw that before. And um, everything that was working, I was duplicating, and this is how I did this. And I was separating a lot, and I was doing a lot of stats and um, analyze, anal, any, uh, how do you do this? Analyzing? Yeah, analyzing. So I analyzed my ads a lot, like checking out what's going on with you, each one of the com uh, combined countries, for example, and the one that was performing well, I was like, okay, come here, I want you alone. And this is what I was uh, doing. So let me go here. And when you have a lot of ads, guys, if you if you want, if you put here and you break down by age and gender, for example, you would have a disaster. Um, disaster is you have a lot of ads and you can't like see the overall performance of your campaign. Like you need to go into each ad set and say, okay, this ad set um, 18 to 24 male. The second asset, 18 to 24 female, and it will be like a big trouble. Even Facebook here says, what the hell you want from me? And it's stuck. So let me refresh and see what's going on here. You will see a big um, crazy box here. To Okay, so here, see? So here you can say you can tell what's going on with all the campaign. Like you know this answer was going on here. Like at the beginning, it's so cool because <coughs> you know each answer was going on. But when you have a lot of answers, the best thing to do is let's go back to none. And the best thing like to study your uh, campaign, go to here and click this campaign. This will take you to the whole campaign. Okay, and then go here and press age and gender for example and let's sort them by checkouts and here you can see that the most <laughs> converting age was 18 to 24 male okay so here you can see what's going on 25 to 34 male and if you go here you can see a lot of stuff like what is the gender I'm sure it was male because we've seen this now. It's, it's not like oh, I'm a genius, but yeah, I am a genius. So, 630 boat a male, and here we can see what age is boat, like in general, to know what's going on. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Don't ya? Again, for the country, like, um, let's see what country was converting better UK, maybe, or USA. So United States of America brought me beautiful sales. Then United Kingdom, then Germany, Italy. Surprisingly, it was like performing best in this um, niche. I don't know. Netherlands, Canada, Sweden, France, Austria. So if I was like to do this again, I would go to those campaigns, to those countries, and open um, new campaigns. But see, the um, the cheapest con conversions were from Italy. 14 shekels, which is 14 times 4, was 3.5. That's crazy, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Italita. And um, here we can go here and uh, pick the day. Let's say, whoop, what happened at that time? Let's see. Like this is a good way, like to do to know what's going on. No, we don't need country. None. Sorry. This is like a good way to break down by day when you want to study your um, ads. It's like to see what what is each ads doing every day and if it's good or not. And um, so thirteenth, as I said, as as I told you, brought me. Uh, one sale, 14th, five sales, then it was like up in, I used to get 100 to 120 sales a day when it was like in the peak. What I did, uh, what I said before, I'd like to go back to the campaign, you come here again and you go to the assets in this campaign. So why is this important? The, not by delivery, by time and do the daily one. Because you will know each day what your campaign is doing. Aha! So in this day, it's perform performing well. The second day, it's not. I didn't kill it. 
I left it like I left it under observation. I put a note. I have like um, a lot of papers here, and I say, okay, UK eighteen to twenty four um, is like per performed worse than the first day. So pay a lot of attention to that one. The second day it also brought me some uh, terrible things, but overall, if you look at the overall, it spent thirty seven plus thirty seven plus nine. 83 time uh let's divide it by th uh by no three four five sorry three four five there's seven times two plus nine again five sales because it will it is three four five so if you look at the overall situation i got a four dollars conversion okay but you need to know what's going on here because sometimes you stay at the f um, a low per, uh, cost per conversion and at some point the, the, the ad set stops delivering and you think, okay, it's doing well because the cost. That's why you have to break it by day and see the daily performance. And this is like the major, most important point in scaling your campaign. You need like to know what that campaign is doing every single day and when it's not converting like here everything is converting well but when you've got no conversions and you spend 37 shekels which is ten dollars the second day the second day i'm looking like at something here Okay, oh, the second day uh, brought you non no conversions, no conversions, no conversions, and no conversions. You can see that this is not working, and it's it, it, it uh, wasted a lot of uh, a lot of money here. What I was confused is I looked at here and I saw that the budget was um, like increasing, and this is due to again to um, the, the no time that I had and this is something that you don't need to do but that being said um, let's say let's see why so here it was a 27 I upped it by two dollars and um, it changed see here it changed it it got it needed two days like to optimize again and uh, to get me some beautiful conversions, three conversions, and for four dollars, for three dollars even, and um, the next day two conversions, and then it was like performing well until one day I increased the budget again by two dollars, or let's say two dollars, yeah, two dollars. So luckily, it was doing good. And this is why I kept like upping the budget, but this is a risk that you need to to do. Sometimes it doesn't work, and I'm not saying that this is a some sometimes um, it, it it always doesn't work, but sometimes it might work to be honest. And also, you can see that um, I, I did this only at the end because I launched the campaign on November. 12th we see we sell or November 18th here um, this adds a particularly but yeah I, I saw it at uh, November 12th I think and um, I was left with no time at the end so I had like to up the up the budget or <laughs> don't do anything so you can see that it was at the really ends um, bottom line guys this is what you need to do You'd like to um, analyze your assets for the best and do that breakdown here again and do it by day and you can do by week but daily you need to like to know each every day what you campaign like your asset is doing and bad assets give them chance of that like they're good and look at check out the uh, total conversion like this is the, this would be the total cost per conversion and this is how much conversions it brought to you and give it a little chance if it's like per, was performing well because what matters is how much money in and how much money out. So it matters if this is still in profit. You can like keep it rolling unless it's like 
performing terrible like five days or four days in a row without any conversion or in a loss so um, I hope that like I'm sure that you knew more stuff here and you like feel more comfortable comfortable about um, some campaigns like they're not um, something like really strange it's something that, that you can do and um, you never know it might be today it might be tomorrow like as you can see here I started with one sale the next day I got five sales and that's it so it could be any campaign that you launch and when I did this actually I was like okay let's try that campaign I wasn't like expecting that much but when I started getting sales daily sales I was like okay I'm gonna get that campaign to um, the thousand club and this is what I did and I didn't do this by like sitting down and playing with my I don't know what my hair and just observing and adding budget I did a lot of job as you can see uh, as, as you saw and this is what you have to do when you've got uh, or when you sense that there is a good conversion in your hand you have like to um, create lookalikes uh, create an ad set with every single um, ad set like interest I mean broad um, I don't know what try every single possibility to make this happen because if you want to get a 1000 campaign or even more you need to do a lot of hard work and um, it won't get like so easy um, I hope that you understand better now and um, that's it I think guys that the amount spent spent okay so I don't know if there will be another video after this but yeah I need to tell you goodbye because it's been a long time how many hours have you been listening to my bullshit well I hope it was worth it and um, you're like really feeling better now about everything um, okay let me like create a finale video to end this fiesta I won't do it in this video I guess so see you in the next video where I tell you goodbye if you don't see a next video I might you know what okay I know I'm gonna do a next video bye bye